finally got my Amazon packages today. It's like Christmas. I'm gonna go outside and start unboxing shit. Let's go. Not the best job ever, but it'll do. I think I did an okay job. I've never built one of these. And the uh, little target thing's ghetto as hell. It's kind of sturdy. We'll see what we can do. I've never had the chance to go to EDC. I had the chance once here in Dallas and then it got shut down. It, it was weird, but the quarantine, this pandemic, since I can't go to EDC, EDC comes to you this year. Virtual EDC. I don't think anybody ever thought that was gonna happen like in the history of ever, so I'm enjoying it. Also, that sleep problem I mentioned in like the previous quarantine vlog, like two quarantine vlogs ago, it's persisting, it's gotten worse, I go to sleep, two hours later I'm up, wide awake, full of energy, and I don't get it. I try to force myself to go back to sleep, sometimes I get like this massive headache from trying to force myself to go back to sleep. So, I finally gave in, took the advice of a bunch of friends and uh, got some melatonin. I've never tried melatonin, so we're going to give that shit a try. I got, let's see what kind, of, what kind did I get. I got the ZZZ Quill Pure Z's De-Stress and Sleep Melatonin Ashwagandha Helps calm your mind and body drug free uh, Gummies So I guess take one before bed, I don't know how it works But uh, we'll give that a shot I also stocked up on some uh, CBD by American Shaman I don't know if it's gonna focus We'll see, we'll see Focus, focus on this, don't focus on my face yeah, I got some CBD by American Shaman. It is a water water soluble CBD. So um, you do. I usually do like a quarter drop dropper in a little bit of water, and I chug it, take it like a shot, and my anxiety just flees. Like it really helps. Uh, I am not sponsored by CBD American Shaman at all. I'm just telling you because it works for me. Um, yeah, I've sometimes I'll do like a whole dropper in like uh, 16 ounces of water, and I'll sip it throughout the day. Just as a routine, like take it daily, a little bit daily, and it will help you gradually get rid of your anxiety because uh, it's not a cute, it's not a great idea to take it just when you have anxiety. It's good to have it as a preventative. Take it a little bit at a time and your anxiety will not spike as often as it should. Now, I'm not a doctor. Don't take my word for it. I'm just telling you what helps me deal with my anxiety, especially during the quarantine at night. It's been helping a lot. So uh, had to re-up on that. Alright, so my laptop has been having serious issues lately, like it's overheating like crazy. I think it's reaching temperatures of 185, which is probably not very good for all the components inside. Now I've never taken a laptop apart and redid the thermal paste on it, but my buddy said that that might help the issue, is reapplying thermal paste. So I ordered some off Amazon, got some Arctic 4, MX4 
heard it's some of the best stuff out in the market so hopefully this works uh, hopefully I don't kill my laptop and if I do I'm probably gonna be very very upset but uh I mean either way I have to do this or it's gonna die on its own pretty soon because it is overheating like crazy so let's get to it luckily I have the best teacher in the world to help me and that is a uh, YouTube because apparently you can learn anything of YouTube nowadays so got a video on deck wish me luck kind of nervous let's do this all right um i'm no expert but this doesn't seem normal for the battery at least it smells that was a little burnt to be honest. Look at this. You see that? See how the battery is bubbling up like that? That is probably not normal. That looks terrible. Holy shit. That probably explains why uh, it doesn't hold charge on its own anymore. So. There's our problem. The thermal paste is super dry and it's not even like making contact with the actual CPU GPU. So yeah, that's definitely an issue. Look at this thing. There's some dry thermal paste. I'm going to quickly remove this with a credit card and then reapply the uh, Arctic MX4. Hopefully that helps. Also I think I have a battery issue. I'm gonna see how much a battery is online. It's probably not cheap. Um, and I had no idea that I can add a uh, SSD right there. So I might do that. I don't know. I'm starting to think that they used way too much thermal paste at first because I did get this as a it wasn't refurbished but there was something wrong with it the screen was detached when I first bought it so I got it at for $700 this is like a $1,500 computer at the time um, so I got it at a bargain and all I had to do was click the screen together and that, that was it but I think it didn't overheat at first but I definitely think they used too much thermal paste maybe because it's everywhere and I don't that could be due to the overheating and it's spreading, but it's everywhere. Look at this. It's all over these little components right there. It's all over right there. It was all over the chipsets right here too. I had to clean those. It's pretty much everywhere. I still, I still have to clean it off the heat sink. And then once I clean it off the heat sink and get everything polished, then I'll add the new thermal paste and hopefully it works. So. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if this worked. Let's see if it even turns on. So. All right, we have liftoff, boys. We have liftoff. All right, we'll see, we'll see. It's alive, it's alive. Ooh. 